Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I want to show you how two different ways to make a Windows 11 USB installation flash drive. Uh, one way is through Microsoft, uh, use, downloading their Windows Media Creation Tool, which is fairly simple. Probably the best way if you're a beginner or just maybe doing it once. Um, it'll make a bootable flash drive so you can install Windows 11 either within your Windows 10 to do the upgrade or just to do a fresh clean install. Um, but I'm using the official Windows 11 release so all these examples I'm going to show you are only going to work on a computer with supported hardware. That being TPM 2.0, UFI BIOS with Secure Boot enabled, and of course a newer processor, I believe 8th gen or newer. So that's one way. And the second way is just I'm going to download the ISO from Microsoft and use the utility to um, move the ISO onto a flash drive, basically do the same thing. So um, without further ado, let me first launch my web browser here. Um, we're going to go to, just do a Google search for Windows 11. And we're going to go to the official Microsoft website. Make sure you go to the Microsoft.com. Upgrade to new Windows 11. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to use that one later. Let's do download. Sorry. Download Windows 11. Um, download Windows 11. All right, so right away you can see there's three download choices here. For this example right here, I'm going to use Create Windows 11 Installation Media. I'm going to hit Download Now. It's just a little EXE. It'll pop right up down here. Uh, simply run the EXE. Close my browser. Now you're going to use, you're going to need an 8 gigabyte or larger flash drive for either of these examples I'm going to show you. Accept the license agreement. Really just depends on what you're going to do with the, uh, how you're going to install Windows, how you want to do this. But this way right here I'm showing you is probably the most common way for just the average home user. Um, edition, Windows 11. Uh, of course you can choose your language. In my case it's English. I'll hit next. And I'm going to use the USB flash drive option. Hit next. And here's my flash drive. I already got stuck in the computer over here. Just now be warned anything on that flash drive is going to be gone. It'll erase it and format it. So hit next. Now it's just going to get a few things ready. Download the Windows 11. Then throw it onto the flash drive and that'll be done. Then you'll have a bootable USB flash drive. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit and I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. So you can see it's almost done. Um, this method here creates the flash drive in the uh, FAT32 file system, not NTFS which is kind of puzzling because if you're going to boot off this flash drive to do it this way of course this will boot pretty much from any computer old or new but if you presumably you're doing this on a newer computer that meets all those hardware requirements especially the UP BIOS and secure boot then I don't know it just doesn't make any sense so we'll hit finish now we got a bootable flash drive let me open up my computer here Oops. You can see it's right here. If we right click on it and go to properties, you can see it's FAT32 file system. Okay, so like I said, this flash drive will boot from any computer, but if you're booting off an old computer with this, uh, you're not going to be able to install Windows 11 because you won't have those minimum hardware requirements. So like I said, they should have just made it GPT. But anyway, so now the second method is we're going to go back to the download uh, page. Download Windows 11. And this installation assistant is if you're upgrading your current PC, uh, PC. It just kind of walks you through a bunch of pre steps and compatibility check and backing up files and that kind of thing. Uh, I don't think many people are going to use that. There are some uses for it, but that's for another video. So here we're going to download the ISO or the disk image. Uh, we're going to select Windows 11. We're going to hit download. Now we got to choose a language. In my case, I'll get English. Confirm it. Sorry. 64-bit uh, download. There is no 32-bit Windows 11. 32-bit is officially all gone. So we're going to click on that. 
the ISO is downloading down here however I did already download it it's right here on my desktop so with that already downloaded now we're gonna go and we have to download a little free utility it's called Rufus Rufus download there it is the site is rufus.ie we're gonna get it directly don't go to these sites like SourceForge, whatever you're gonna get all kinds of malware on your computer so we're gonna go right here and this is a screenshot and right here is the download it's only 1.1 megabytes gonna click on Rufus 3.16 and then you have to close these ads out and after it downloads just simply run it which I already did to install it and here's what the shortcuts gonna look like right here so we'll double click it hit yes for user account control and right here is the device now I'm gonna just overwrite what I just put on that flash drive again you're gonna want a uh, 8 gigabyte or larger flash drive to do this on so I'm gonna choose that flash drive anything on the flash drive will be erased and we're gonna select our ISO by clicking here it's on my desktop it's right here so I'll just choose it and hit open double check make sure it's in there and we're just gonna go with the standard installation that meets these requirements that they got right here uh, now the partition I'm just gonna do the MBR if you do GPT you're gonna be you will only be able to boot from a UFI enabled BIOS but then you will probably have to disable secure boot uh, put it over to legacy while you're trying to get to your boot menu to boot off it so let's just do MBR like the Microsoft did just for you, you can do it either way but I'm just gonna do MBR I guess um, here we can name the drive so I'll put a label on it so when I so when you plug it in you can see what it is let's call it Windows 11 so everything looks good we'll just click on start down here and it's gonna take that ISO and it's gonna burn it onto the flash drive and it'll be bootable just like the first one so there's different reasons for doing it either way it's just warning us here it's gonna destroy any data on that drive which is fine I'll hit OK it goes pretty quick here at the start or get around 95 96 percent down here and it'll hang for a while because it's doing the the um, installed.wmi file it's about four and a half gigabytes for us so that takes a little while be patient it will hang there for a little bit just let it finish and I will speed this up a little bit and I'll be right back all right guys you can see it's just about wrapping up here all right so it is ready so we're going to close this let's go over to this PC again here is the flash drive successfully created oops hold it, hold it back over here um, all right so we did that in MBR it is NTFS file system but being MBR it should boot from anything so one last thing I want to show you here is we'll open up our browser I'm gonna go get a new tab here let's go to the Windows 11 just type in Windows 11 and we can go to Microsoft's official uh, Windows 11 site right here I believe look at all the cool features of a Windows 11 um, I'm still running Windows 10 I'm not in a big hurry to upgrade to Windows 11 on my main computer at some point I know I will but right now I'm very satisfied with Windows 11 go all the way down to the bottom of this page and you can download this health check app right here for free just click on the link it's a quick short little download I've already done that it's right here just double click it if you download it and this is going to check your system and tell you if it's compatible to run the official Windows 11 just click up here where it says check now it takes half a second and this will tell you if your TPM is, is ready, your your BIOS. Uh, in my case, I do have Secure Boot disabled currently. This system that I'm doing this recording on more than meets the minimum requirements for Windows 11. But I was working on another project and I got my Secure Boot disabled. So once I re-enable that, I'll, I'll be fine. So you can do that just to see if your, your system is going to be able to run Windows 11. I just want to say thanks to everybody for your support and get me to where I'm at with my subs. Um, I'm going to hit 17,000 subs pretty soon. My goal is to get to 20,000 by the end of the year. So I appreciate your support. Keep the subs coming. I would appreciate it. Give me a like as well. Um, appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.